That's right. We're going Loveland Frogman build, a pet that needs no introduction if you played that weekly a few weeks ago. But this time around, we don't have as much support for him. We don't have Fairy Dust. We don't have Tsuchinokos. So you can only have three jumps realistically scaling at a time. But it turns out that doesn't actually matter. <laughs> it's still incredibly strong. The Loveland Frogman, the jump homies, that's all you need, really. The scaling is unmatched. If you get an early Frogman, just full pivot. One of the few instances I think you run the horse here is when you get an early cricket. Not too bad in that instance. Um, we haven't seen upside down in a while. Maybe we'll do some upside down mammals. Well, that is just deeply unfortunate. <laughs> Maybe the horse isn't as good as I had hoped. Okay, run it like this. Ooh, a level two. Don't mind if I do. Surely this isn't losing, right? <laughs> yeah, if you're on that team. You didn't even bother putting the mana on anybody. Alright, level mate. I mean, Pegasus with double cricket is hard to pass up. But so is Giraffe. Alright, let's run it like this. Sure. Man, this is a tough one, huh? There's so many good options. Maybe we run Capybara here. Straight up. I think this is just good. Oh, connection closed. That's unfortunate. What are we gonna do about that one, Team Wood? Okay, so yeah, whenever these crickets faint, we're gonna get a ton of attack. It's gonna be great. We're gonna be killing it. I don't know what's going on with this whole uh, wheel hanging out over here, but I'd appreciate it if he carried on his way. I'm always kind of hesitant to run Pegasus. I don't even know why, really. Weird. It just seems like it, like it doesn't feel as good as I want it to, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, that's perfect. Like, I know it's good. I can see that it's good. But it just doesn't feel good. <laughs> um, okay. Reroll. Not having it. Maybe. Just kidding. Um, could go horse here. And by go horse, I mean get rid of horse. Let's do it like this. I want to keep the drum, put him in the incubator a little bit. We're also going to get tier... What is that? Tier 3 next turn? Which is pretty good. Joke's on you, I didn't even need him. You don't even need the Pegasus. Okay. Okay. Um, let's do it like this then. If we found more Pegasus, I'd be all for it, but we didn't. Is there any, like, wasp synergy here? Any shot we can get his health high enough? Not really. Not really. I mean, I'll definitely go drop bear here. That is a lot of wasp, though. <laughs> Baby. That is a beautiful sight. Alright. Make sure we're in the right order here. Run it like that. And then we'll buff these homies up. Get a level. Hopefully something nasty. Oh, we were 
were so close. We were almost there. Did we get two levels? Don't mind if I do. Okay, run it like this first. Do we get slug is tempting. Tell you what. <laughs> What's the correct way to do this? Run it like this, because I really want to get garlic here. So we keep our big unit, the drop bear, but we have this guy still. And then we can level up the cappy if we need to. But for now, I think this is good. Yep, I'd say that's pretty good. That is not bad at all. Okay, so now we're gonna go here, here, oh baby, how do you say no? We go frogman, maybe hold a husky here, maybe, maybe, actually no, no husky yet. The reason being is he's not buffed with the cappy. That seems a little wasteful, if you will. And there it is. We really doing frogman things, aren't we? So now we're just looking for drop bears and frogmen. That's really all we got here. Nothing. There's a drop bear. Alright. Full sun. See how quickly we can scale these homies up. Well. <laughs> Not that quickly, actually. When our frogman gets nuked. Alright, now we can actually roll into Frogman, so that's huge. Another drop bear. Can we get a Frogman? That's the question. I think the answer's looking like no. Which is a tad unfortunate. But that's okay. One Frogman is all you really need. Can't even get to buff all of them. What the heck? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Alright. Yeah, I mean, we're just rolling for Frogman right now. Come on. There it is. I was hoping to get this. So that we we didn't have to waste the 1-1 one, one from the chocolate there. So this is perfect. This is as good as it gets. Feels a little shady, I'll admit, <laughs> running this team. Okay, we don't even care about losses here. As long as we get all of the frogman triggers, that's all that matters. Okay, so Capybar at this point can swap out with whoever. I'm um, sorry, with whomever. Couldn't really do Tiger unless we combine some drop bears. Which I'm not opposed to necessarily. I'm trying to think if there's a better pet though, you know? Something that's even better than that. Like maybe we combine these two homies and go tiger. Cause then you give six six. Is that even better though? than just having more drop bears? I don't think so. Like, maybe we just go Lynx here and then focus on leveling. Just purely get a bunch of levels going. We'll do this in case you get sniped or something. Some weird nonsense going on. Okay, looking good. Love it. That is the perfect turn. It's all you could ever hope for. 
And now we need levels because we need the links. So obviously we look for the frogman levels first. We did not find any there, which is okay. Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you side stack them here. That seems like diminishing returns to me. So glad they didn't get sniped there. That would have been sad. And there it is. Oh, we're cooking now. We are cooking now. All right. Let me get the link some levels, and then I guess we just go for some drop bears. This is just peak gameplay right here. Okay, how well do they handle this? Because this is a lot. Except we're actually just kind of huge, apparently. So close. We almost had him. A little bit further and we're good. Maybe we give him garlic. We just stack garlic on these guys. That would probably make it pretty good. Um, let's see. I think we go for lynxes still. Keep rolling here. Yeah, I think we're just rolling. Another drop bear. Love to see it. It's just insane how quickly these guys scale up, you know? Like 6-6 six, six on three guys every turn. That's 18-18 18, 18 in stats. For basically doing nothing. It can get jigged up a little bit, admittedly. But like, come on. <laughs> come on. This... Surely we can all agree this is a little too strong, right? I guess we'll see. We're going against the big dogs here. Oh, maybe not. Though I will say, I think if they're 50-50s, that's like way over. Easy dub. Alright, we go here. Unfortunate that it hit the drop bear who's already going to be maxed, so that's okay. Dang, okay. Apparently, <laughs> we learn now, drop bears get outscaled. Who would have thought? You could have a full squad of 50-50s on turn, or I guess, sorry, three 50-50s and some snipes on turn 16 and husky poodle gets it there crazy stuff i mean we can start a horse here it's not my favorite but we got a high health otter we got a 3-3 ant up front maybe it'll be fun be some skilled astronauts i think they all are i would argue if you disagree i'll fight you about it <laughs> let's tussle Okay, let's throw an otter in here. I mean, not ideal for sure. But like, a 3-3 three, three, I guess is fine. Really, we're just hoping to not lose this one. So, we could do that. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. And we do, so that's all that matters. We're back up to five hearts. And now we can actually start rolling. Ooh, level me. I mean, I guess we throw a flycatcher in here. To be honest, it seems like Team Wood thought we were going to be plagued with summons. Based on the, the lineup here, we got Iguana, we got Flycatcher, we got Hippos. But like, I'm not saying there are no summons, don't get me wrong. But there aren't that many, you know, like, <laughs> there. Not, surely not with all these counters around. I'm too afraid to go summons because you're just going to run into a giant, not even a giant, just like a normal sized garlic hippo and you instantly lose. <laughs> like, there's nothing to do there. I don't know. I'm just not really a summon stand in general, so maybe that's part of my issue. 
Either way, we're doing all right for ourselves here. We're sticking to five hearts. This is kind of tricky though. I love Capybara. I mean, this is fine. Maybe we'll get a level three otter. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, hold on. <laughs> now we're getting some levels here. Let's see. Yeah. It's some sort of cognitive dissonance, I'm sure. But whenever I have a foo bear, foo bear, foo dog, I just, <laughs> every part of me wants to not take level up, homies. You know, it's like, oh, if I, not foo dog, what am I saying? If, capybara. Like if I roll into it, it could be bigger, you know? I don't know. Definitely cognitive dissonance on the capybara front. But such is life. Don't act like y'all don't do it either. Come on. I know you're thinking the same thing. Everyone has their own weird... Weird little thing that they don't do. Just on like a... Not even a moral level. Just just because it doesn't feel right. Oh, well, that's just horrible. <laughs> oh, just kidding. We're fine. That snipe on our food dog hurt. The perfect kill on him. We did end up getting you. I mean... Early level into Frogman, how do you say no? With a drop baron shop too. Not that one, okay. <laughs> we'll grab the poodle. Another drop bear? This has 10 wins written all over it. Imagine if we roll into another drop bear here. <laughs> how insane would that be? So I think we're just gonna do I mean, we're really just looking for, for drop pairs, right? Like, hold off with these two semi-large units. Try to not lose right away. Which we, we very well may, considering... <laughs> considering they have a Garlic Hippo. I mean, we have so much health, there's no shot we lose here. Oh, baby. Speaking of... I mean, this definitely is just stack frogmen and drop bears, right? That's like the only way to play this. Just think about it like this, okay? We could do a lynx, sure, but every frogman gives each of these drop bears 2-2 two -two every turn. Nominally, right? Obviously that drop bear got sniped, so he didn't get it. But in theory, right, we're getting 8-8. Eight, eight, in passive scaling every turn. We're doing basically nothing, just like existing, you know? That's incredible. And if we can find another drop bear soon, we we're gonna be cooking. We could do this octopus here. Just, I think the early infancy of the frogman build, right, is obviously where it's weakest. You don't wanna get sniped because then you can't scale anymore. Okay, this is not an issue. We get a draw. I really like Cap Kappa here, by the way. Ooh, okay, hold that thought. We got another drop bear. And this has got to just go into the, the frogman, right? It's just full send frogman until he gets level 3. And we might as well grab level 2s on drop bears. But I, as I was saying, I really like Kappa here. Because he's most likely not going to trade one for one with their front unit. Which means we get a free, quote unquote, 14-16, and they get nothing. It's like, you don't find that kind of value everywhere. Alright, we sniped the tiger a little too late. I think we're okay here, yo. Drop bear's getting it done. And now they're, they're pretty much getting over that little hump here. Where we're... Just big enough. Oh my lord, dude. We're getting... <laughs> we got the level 3. I love it. Um, hold on. Does Kappa... Does it summon... Okay. It summons 2. It doesn't summon a 20... 28, 28. Okay. So yeah, there's no reason to level up Kappa here. Ooh, this could be... No, we're good. We take him. 
Just look at this. 18, 18 in stats every turn for nothing. <laughs> we have almost no conditionals applied to it at this point. Like nobody's getting sniped. Maybe the frogman. We could try to get him some health or something, but like, let's be real. This is, <laughs> there's no stopping him. We might as well grab pizza here, I guess. What else are we gonna do with our money? Okay, that's fine. Snipe the husky. Dude, it's such a good feeling when you get all three jumps too. Okay, that looks great. Ooh, hit the frogman, nice. Can we do it again? Let's find out. Mm -hmm. See, he's even got reasonably sized snipes with the links, but it doesn't matter in the slightest. Because the frogman- Oh, I didn't know it would do that. They traded one for one at the end and he still jumped and got buffed, even though there was nobody there to attack. That's fantastic. Okay, I mean, just so we don't have the same issue as last time, we'll give us some garlic here. I don't want to- I don't want to lose again like we did before. But something tells me, considering how much earlier we got this going, I don't think we're going to have any issues. It really just took too long last game, I think. Get a hot dog. Maybe hit the kappa. Ooh, nice. And yeah, we'll pretzel. The soft ice doesn't really do anything for us. The drop bears are going to get maxed out pretty soon anyways. Might as well throw in some pizza. I wish it didn't hit that top guy, but whatever. Oh, here's our test. Kind of. <laughs> Not really much of a test, I guess. But this is what has killed us several times already. Ooh, the frogman actually gets to go to battle here. He took out four or five guys there. Hell yeah. Um, let's see. How do we want to play this? I don't know who would be good in place of the frogman. Once we get 50-50, assuming we don't win here. You know, in theory, you'd like to pivot into something like a scorpion or something like that. But I'm kind of... I don't know. Like, we could do an orca, maybe. As a little... Ketcha. Like, it's not going to be as strong as the 14... 16. But I think the high end is there. We can start building toward it. But let's be real, we're not relying on the, the Kappa here anymore. These guys are huge. Hold on. This is a good test. Just kidding. <laughs> it wasn't that close. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, this... It's basically just as broken as it was last time. It's got less support. We don't even have onions. We don't have fairy dust. And it's still just cooking. We don't have Suchinoko. Suchinoko's insane with Frogman, because you get four jumps instead of the three here. And it's still just busted. This guy needs a nerf. I said it once, I'll say it again. We gotta nerf this homie. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you enjoyed our little stint into scummy frogman builds. It's fun. I'm not hating too much. If you wanna play it, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> no harm, no foul. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. If you made it this far, odds are you're enjoying the content. And I've got great news for you. There's plenty more where that came from. Check out these videos here that YouTube thinks that you might enjoy. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a good one.